Who is that? Who is calling her now? Just as she's about to walk down the aisle. Why did you hand her the phone? She insisted. You are literally standing right here. Ava? Who was that? Ryan. It was... It was... Ryan. Kill me now. Kill me now. Ryan. Wait a minute. Ryan, Ryan Cole? Ryan. You mean Ryan, your ex? Ryan. Ryan who left eight years ago and disappeared Ryan. from the grid. Ryan? Ryan. <laughs> I need... I need... I need to get out of this. Eva, calm down. Justin is in the chapel waiting for you to walk down the I aisle need... any moment now. I need... Uh... I'm taking the bed off. But Yvette, the bridal match just started. I need, I need to get out of this dress. No, Eva. Eva, I stop. I should I call mom? I think I should call mom. Rose, help me. I think. I think. Oh, no, 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 not today, Eva. Wake up. Eva. Eva! 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 That's about right. Eva! Yup, yup, yup. Eva! Yvette! Yvette, get help! Yvette, snap out of it! Oh God! Eva! Mom! Eva! Thank God. Where is she? I went to the hospital. They said she left. Is she here? Is she here? Justin, slow down, man. Calm down, okay? She's in her room. Brandon, stop him. You don't want to go in there. Not like this. Not before you talk to me. Rose, why? Tell me what good reason is there to stop me from seeing the love of my life. The mother of my daughter. The woman I was supposed to marry hours ago. Justin, please don't yell at me, okay? I don't know what's going on. All I know is she had a phone call and then she was ripping up her stuff, barely able to utter a few words. Then she collapsed and we washed her off to the hospital. And then she was treated and discharged and we came here and she hasn't said a word since. Brandon, can you make sense of what she's saying because I don't get it? What do you mean she hasn't said a word? Did she- Be patient, man. We get to the bottom of this. Rose, did Eva say we called? It was Ryan. Ryan? The Ryan? The one and only. <laughs> These are the kind of freaky BS you see in telenovelas. <laughs> Who is this Ryan character? And why did the mention of his name seem to change the ear in the room? That is saying something considering how it already was. Ryan is Eva's first love. We have not heard from him or knew his whereabouts for eight years. I for one thought he died because the Ryan I know will never walk away from his precious Eva. She's his precious Eva now? Please. I hated that guy since ever spoke of him. He left her a true distrust in an insecure mess. I always knew he was alive, but the pure jackass and a coward. All he wants is to hurt my wife. Imagine living a woman for eight years and then calling on her wedding day. He's even a bigger bastard than I thought he was. Who does this bloody lunatic think he is? Yvette. How is she? What's going on? She's still in shock. She's not saying a word to any of us. Mom is calling off the wedding for now. So I think you and Eva will need to have a discussion by tomorrow so you two can decide what's next. Oh God. Can I see her now? Of course, Justin. Today was supposed to be the start of a new journey for them. It was supposed to be the happiest day in Justin's life. In my sister's life too. Who is Ryan exactly? 
And if he was so special, why did he leave? Why can one call from him result to this? I don't understand. For you to understand the complicated situation Eva is in, you need to know what Ryan was like. Or better yet, what Eva was like with Ryan. She was happy. She's happy now too. Well, not today in particular, but she and Justin are happy together. Eva loved Ryan deeply, and they were fine when Ryan left for the States. Eva was the one who drove him to the airport. That was the last time she saw him. Ryan never contacted her since he left eight years ago, until today on her wedding day. So today was like the rebirth of a ghost. Eva truly believed that Ryan was dead. Didn't his family know where he was? Ryan is an orphan. He had no family Eva knew of. She was all he had, or so he made it seem. Right now I'm terrified. I can't even begin to imagine what Justin must be going through. Eva was in love with Ryan. What if he has a good explanation for staying off the grid for so long? What then? So are you trying to say she will leave Justin? No. She's trying to say we don't know what would happen. Because she loved Ryan back then. Just as much as she loved Justin now. Even though both sets of relationships were quite different. And who is to say she's still not in love with Ryan? Justin is the father of her daughter. And they were about to get married before that slime boy called her. There is no way she loves him. She belongs to Justin and Tina. At this point, I'm opening my mind to a lot of possibilities. Because the way how this one fooled me chest today. Hmm. All my life, I've followed in my big sister's footstep. I've always admired her and wished for what she has. But this is where I draw the line. I'm happy I'm not in her shoes. Mm-mm-mm. Poor Eva. The brother turned the plane and for me going inside the church. Now Eva began to pull close. Here, yeah. Brandon, the fear and shock I felt in that moment all the while trying to keep it together. Not to so we non plan today. How is your mom through all this? On a regular day, mom is dramatic. Today she's something else. She's in there crying her ass out and cursing her enemies. Today's the first time I feel like her action fits a problem. Even though I don't plan on telling her Ryan called, she thinks the whole thing is witchcraft. Won't she be angry when she finds out? She will be, but that is tomorrow's problem. Where to? I'm only now realizing Arthur is not here. He stayed back to make sure the little bride and groom, flower girls and page boys find a parent. Poor kids. They must have been so confused. Okay guys, I think I need to go in and see if Eva has agreed to say something. It's been a week and I still don't understand what's going on. I'm going crazy here. We were supposed to be on our honeymoon in Barcelona by now, and our daughter misses her mother. How is she? Tina? She wants to see you, Eva. She hasn't been apart from me a single day in her life before now. You have to come home to us. I can't go home with you right now, Justin. I need to clear my head. Bring Tina here and let her stay here with me for a while. And then what next, baby? I want to know what's going on. Walk me through this. Help me understand why we're not issued doing our wedding and moving on with our lives. He's in Freetown and he wants to see me. Why does he want to see you? He said he wants to explain to me why he left without a trace. So what does that mean for us? I just want to talk to him, okay? And hear what he has to say. I have so many unanswered questions. And then what? Closure, I hope. What about me? What about us? Babe, I need to talk to him, okay? He's meeting me this afternoon. And right now, I can't think beyond that. All I know is that I want answers. He left eight years ago. And none of us had anything about him or from him. In my head, I had concluded he was dead, only for him to call on the happiest day of my life and ruin in it. He has to answer for that at the very least. Oh, God. <sighs> okay. 
but I'm not leaving. Babe, I know you want to protect me. But I have to do this without you around. Yvette is home. I won't be alone. You have to trust me. Okay, fine. But after this, I don't want to hear that demon's name mentioned around me ever again. I'm sorry, baby. Come in. a slut you picked up on the side of the road. No phone calls, emails, or letters from you. You dropped off the grid. I could not reach you on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Was that that bad as a girlfriend? Was that what I deserved? <laughs> Ryan, you left me. And eight years later, you are back, and on my wedding day, no less. Why? Why? Eva, I can explain. Oh, so now you can explain. After all these years, you chose not to. I'm sorry, Eva. No. Don't say you're sorry. I need answers. I need answers. Did you know that the day you called was my wedding day? Yes, I did. So you knew. But yet, you called and ruined my wedding. I had to talk to you before you married someone else, Eva. <laughs> someone else? Someone else? How dare you call my husband someone else? <laughs> that someone else is called Justin. He and I have been together for six years. Not six days or six months, but six years. <laughs> he deserves to be happy. He is a good man. And right now, he's sitting alone in our house. <laughs> Terrified that I might be leaving him. He doesn't deserve it. Ryan, you ruined what would have been one of the happiest days in his life. In our lives. Eva. You think he can just walk into my life and do whatever the hell you like? How dare you? Ryan, you are dead to me. Eva, please. No, Ryan. Justin is the father of my daughter. And I love him so damn much. And I'm getting married to him. And there's nothing you can say that can change that. I'm no longer interested in what you have to say. Leave. Get out. Eva. I said get out. I had amnesia, Eva. What? As I was leaving the JFK airport, the day my flight landed, the cab I was in got hit by a bus. The driver died on the spot. And I sustained very serious injuries. I almost died. I was in a coma for five months. Even after I came around, I stayed in the ICU for two additional months. The worst part was I couldn't even remember my name, yet alone you or the life I left behind. I had no idea on me. So I was John Doe for a bit. I was in a wheelchair for over a year after the accident. I had to undergo four surgeries and extensive rehab for my legs just so I could walk again. I had to learn to eat, walk, talk and do everything over again. 
Oh God. My body healed. But my memory did not return. Not until recently. I got lucky to have been admitted into a non-profit rehabilitation program. They helped me heal. Got me a social security number, a job, insurance, a new life. For seven years, six months and 29 days. The only name I knew was the name I chose for myself. After I was discharged in the hospital, as Jamal Walker. I'm not lying, Eva. All you have to do is pick up your phone and Google Jamal Walker. The first memory I had was a year ago in the park. When a little guy yelled to her brother, Ryan, give it back, I'm cold. In that moment, in the very moment I remembered my own name, Ryan Cole. I remember nothing else until four months after the park incident. When I remembered her, I was from Freetown. After that, I started to remember bits and pieces, like my flight to the state and the accident. Two months ago, I started thinking of the name Eva. And I talked to my therapist about it, and he said, it, the name might be someone in my past. So I started searching for Eva on Facebook, Google, and every other search engine I know. I went through profiles of Eva after Eva, but nothing seemed familiar. I got nothing until two weeks ago when I was searching Facebook and I saw a post. It captured, Eva is marrying her best friend in a week. She was smiling. She looked so happy. That is when it all came back. My memory washed back, followed by a splitting headache. My heart breaking. It took me almost eight years to get my memories back. And when I did, my beautiful Eva was no longer mine. Someone had taken her from me. Even your name on Facebook is Justice Boo. I felt every feeling known to man. It was the worst day of my life. <sighs> Eva, I love you. You are my life. For eight years as Jamal Walker, I refused to get into a serious relationship because I have this unsettling feeling that somewhere, someone is waiting for me. It doesn't matter. I, 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 I have a life now. I have Justin and Tina. Your daughter is beautiful, just like you. She could have been mine. Well, well, she's not, okay? She's Justin's little girl. Eva, what happened was not my fault. Kara, you are my world. I was lost without you. No. Yes, as Jamal Walker, I crafted a successful life for myself. But as Ryan, the real me, he cannot breathe without you, Kara. No! Stop calling me Kara. You don't get to call me Kara anymore. I'm no longer yours. Justin loves me, and I love him. I love you. Justin and I have been together for six years. We've been together for 11 years. Did you forget that, Kara? We met since our school days. We were never apart till the day I left. And then all this. Justin never left. I didn't leave you either. At least, not on purpose. No, Ryan. I'm sorry for what happened to you. But I can't do this. Eva, look at me. Please, baby, look at me. I love you. I love you beyond words. Your happiness is more important to me than my own. It may not seem that way to you. 
But I couldn't give up without a fight. Not after all what life took for me. I called without thinking. I wish I could have been able to call you before your wedding. I called the exact moment I got your number. I didn't mean to cause you any problems. I'm sorry. I can't do this. Do you love this guy, Justin? Yes, with all my heart. Then it's okay. I give you my blessing. <laughs> my God. You are beautiful. I just needed you to know that I didn't leave you. I couldn't even if I wanted to. I was lucky to have found someone like you to love me. Goodbye, my love. <laughs> wow. Amnesia for eight years? Is he even telling the truth? It appears so. I googled him earlier and his story checks out. I even just saw a video on YouTube of him, dated five years back, where he was interviewed on a talk show about his amnesia. Wait, he's famous? He's an author. Oh wow, he achieved his dream after all. I bet he did not even realize that was his long life dream when he was at the verge of achieving it due to his amnesia and all. I don't know what I possibly did to the cosmos to deserve this. I know. So what are you going to do? Is the wedding still on with Justin? Of course, without a shadow of doubt. Had I not passed out in shock, we would have been married by now. Ryan's return changes nothing. Good. Oh God. Come here. I know. It's okay. It's okay, sis. I'm here for you. Tired. I am tired. Come here. Mm. Mm. I miss you. I miss you more, baby. Like you wouldn't believe it. Tina wanted to wait up for you. I told her I'll pick her up tomorrow. She and I can spend the night at Yvette's. Why can't you just spend the night here? You've lived there for five years, so why stop now? Fine. I'll stay for a few days. Eva, I've been really patient with you. But I'm hurting. What is going on? I was hoping we wouldn't talk about this. Eva, we were supposed to be married. You practically left me at the altar. Justin, don't say that. But that is what happened. You left me at the altar. I passed out in shock. I didn't just leave. I was taken out on a stretcher. You're making it sound as if I wanted this to happen. Don't cry. Come on, baby. Come on. I'm sorry. The whole situation just frustrates me, you know. I can't imagine what you must be going through. But this is difficult for me too. I know. And I'm sorry. So what now? My health comes first. 
Everything that has happened and is still happening has taken its toll on me. My mom will be back from her meeting in London soon. We'll plan a way forward when she gets back. Okay, fair enough. So, what was your scumbag ex's story? He's not a scumbag. I beg your pardon? He didn't leave me. He had an accident which resulted to amnesia. <laughs> And you believe that crap? I googled him. His story checks out. What do you mean you googled him? And I'm going to need to hear the story told you from the start. Fine. Justin, say something. I'm flabbergasted to see the list. I mean, this is freaking unbelievable. We will have been married, but this... This, let me just go and blast from the past, just shows up with poor Philos's memory and claiming he loves you. It was one thing we all agreed he was a scumbag. But now he's the guy with a sad story. I've showed you his interviews online. And you know it's not just a story. It's the truth. I don't care. This, us, is what matters to me. I need you to understand how this affects my psyche. As much as I understand all what you have gone through this week, you know. Thinking he was dead all these years and then finding out he's alive and well and on our wedding day and all that. I still can't understand why you just can't move on after hearing him out. He's your past. I am your present. Your future and your forever. Yes. You are my forever. Good. So don't speak of him anymore. Let's just move on with our lives. Jamal or Ryan or whatever he's calling himself these days can hit cock bottom for all I care. Baby, please don't say that. Come on, Eva. This is beginning to piss me off. Why are you defending him? I'm not defending him. It's just that he has been through so much. And all he needs right now is some sort of closure, not causes or ill wishes. So tell me, do you still have feelings for him? Justin, I love you. I don't plan on compromising what we have for what I had in the past. Ava, you did not answer my question. My feelings are complicated. Wow. Just wow. Baby! I'm in a riptide and I can't get out. I'm fastly sinking, it's swallowing me whole I've gotta find a way for me to cross over Say your one side you are my forever Forever in this clashing way Someone save me from overspay One towards me on the jungle greets the ocean A lone girl stands On the crossroads of gathering you're my life Emotions overloading All the strength waning Falling, crawling, grasping Calling, drowning in this reef tide Yeah I went to London on an emergency business trip, hoping you will come with news that your health has improved and that the wedding is back on. But it is almost two weeks since you collapsed and I did not hear from either of you. Mom, I'm still sick. Liar! That's not the real reason for this delay. I went to see Justin before I came here. Oh no. Did he knock on me? <laughs> he is lucky he did because I was in London and I smelled the first one being pulled on me. Little did I know that my own daughter was causing the delay. Mom, if you suspected that Justin was causing the delay and the first thing you did when you arrived was to rush to his house. Make your point, Slowpoke. It means you were angry when you got to his house. Yeah, so? Mom, you hit him, didn't you? So what if I did? Oh, oh no. Mom. How many times do we have to tell you that it is not acceptable to be hitting people? What did you hit him with? My handbag and don't change the subject. Ah, 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 ah. What is this I hear about Ryan being back? 
I was dying with worry on your supposed wedding day, thinking my enemies are trying to kill you. And neither of you thought it fits to mention that the reason for your episode was a dead man walking. What does not being back have to do with anything going forward anyway? I don't want to talk about it right now, Mom. Oh, we will talk about this right here, right now. Mom! Ah! Yes, Eva, start speaking. Mom, just let it go for now, okay? Eva Marie Conte, if I have to ask you just one more... Fine, fine. Let's just sit down and I'll tell you. If this is a trick to get me off your back, young lady, you have another thing coming to you. Mommy, let's just sit down, okay? This has gotten out of hands, friend. I mean, if someone had told me that something like this would happen, I would have laughed and called them crazy. I, for one, is not really sure that is happening. I mean, what are the chances that a runaway boyfriend will show up on a wedding day? I mean, what kills me is that she admits to having feelings for him. I mean, I love her very much, and I can't think of anyone else on the face of this other that I would rather be with. And then some guy I don't even know is here to ruin me and my daughter's dream. Man, this is sick. It's like a movie or reality show or something. It blows me away that it is happening in front of my very eyes. Now imagine if you are going through this like I am. Nah, man. I'll be in the hope shooting bats or going hunting because I'll be in a killer mood and I don't want to kill a man. This is ridiculous, man. But for my daughter's sake, I'm trying to maintain my composure throughout all of this. I mean, her mom is breaking down. She doesn't need her daddy to follow suit. Send Tina to her mom tonight and I'll come pick you up and you get wasted and take a load off. I don't know, man. Come on, man. Trust me on this. Okay, fine. I'll pick you up at eight. Mom. Mom. Mommy. What fresh hell is this? Mom! Ava, Mom will talk when she's ready. You know how dramatic she gets. Brodo is certainly missing a star. And she moves. Hi, Pascaline. And she speaks. Born Pascaline Ayomidi Fraser, and later became Mrs. Conte, the wife of your father, Ava, Mr. Abu Conte, of blessed memory. And now, Mrs. Thomas, married to Mr. Roland Thomas, Evette's father. I've never in my entire life had or seen anything like this. And the Oscar award goes to Mrs. Pascaline Ayomide Thomas, ni Conte, ni Fraser. I have no idea why you can't be more like your sister. <laughs> really? Even now, I am just going to ignore you. And yet you're here talking to me. Eva, baby, I won't even lie and tell you I know how you're feeling. But I will tell you this. This is no longer about you, but about your daughter as well. Had Ryan not called you when he did, you will be married to your daughter's father right now. You said yourself that you love him. And in a way, it makes things less complicated. I mean, if there is such a thing as less complicated in this situation, you and Ryan had your time. It was epic. It is a love to be treasured and remembered. A tell to tell your children and their children. But for you and Justin, your time is now. Marry Justin. I forget that beneath all the dramatics, there is a smart lady. Yeah, I mean, you love Justin, and you guys have Tina, and you are going to get married and make more beautiful babies. That was a perfect love story. I mean, I respect what you and Ryan had, but that was like eight years ago. You both are completely different people now. I feel for Ryan. I really do. But I don't think Justin deserves what's happening to him. I'll marry Justin. I'm not conflicted about that. 
It's just that I needed time to deal with this. It's not every day that your dead boyfriend returns from the dead with a very sad and true story that was bound to touch even the hardest of hearts. I can't believe you both will think that I'm having doubt. You underestimate how much I love Justin. I don't. I just kept in mind what you and Ryan had as well. Whatever we had was in the past. Justin is my forever. I just owe it to what we had and for the purpose of closure to meet with Ryan as he has been requesting. Good, you deserve closure. I see no harm in meeting him and making sure he's fine and ensuring he understands that you have moved on. Oh, I am so relieved. <laughs> when Justin told me, I nearly tripped trying to run to the car to come here. Hmm, smack. Go tell you that he said smack, you done something. <laughs> I'm not gonna do without your love, you, baby, you. Anytime you can to me, I go to you, baby, you. The way you they shake that your boom boom, my body they miri miri, oh, baby. The way you they shake that your waist, my body they miri miri, oh, baby. Now your love be the sanko, now my body be the conto. Now your love be the sanko, now my body be the conto, koro koro, yeah. Africa beauty reigns forever and will never be love forever. They say love is blind, but your feelings they make me a not the CEO. Girl, you're beautiful. A queen deserves the best. And besides, if you're here to tell me what I think you're here to tell me, then I think we deserve one last meal. Fine. So let's eat. The spread is your favorite or what used to be your favorite eight years ago. So Ryan, have thought about it. No, 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 come on now, Eva. That's not dinner talk. How was your day? Ryan, you don't possibly expect me to just sit here and pretend with you and talk about my day when that's the last thing I want to talk about. Fine, I'll tell you about mine. My day was awful. Just like every other day since I came back. Ryan! I feel lost and alone like I felt for eight years when I couldn't remember who I was. And now, it's worse. I finally remember who I am, where I'm from, and the people I love. But they, it seems I've all forgotten about me. Their lives did not stop, and now mine can't fit into theirs. I don't blame anyone. In fact, I'm happy everyone found happiness. But I can't help but wish that I, in turn, find some semblance of peace, if not happiness. I find myself caught in the middle of two walls. I don't really belong. Here, I no longer have a life. Whatever life I had, ended eight years ago. I try to hang out with old friends, but they all, have, they all treat me as if I'm some bomb that is about to explode. Ryan, I won't lie to you and tell you I know what amnesia feels like. I've never had it, and I imagine it must be awful, and I feel for you. But the feeling you spoke about, being between two walls, I know how it feels, because I feel like I'm between two walls. In my case, each wall is trying to claim me, which is as bad as not belonging. Because at the end of the day, if I don't pick a side, I will be lost to both forever. My life here as Ryan is over. And my life as Jamal Walker is missing something. All day, every day, all I do is sit in my hotel and both lives flash before my eyes. All day, every day, I feel lost, except today, when you finally agreed to see me. You saved me again today, Eva. My Eva. Ryan, I am sorry, but this can't. Eva, please, not today. But Ryan! It can't end today, please. I know you are with Justin, and I can't be meeting you or calling you. I just can't 
hear those words from you today. Okay, today, I need a good memory to pick me up from the chaos that is now my life. Let's dine and you tell me all about Tina. Okay. So are you ready to tell me all that happened between you and Brian yesterday? Why that so nice Nothing happened. Really? You expect me to believe that you and Ryan said goodbye to each other forever and you guys did not even share a kiss? Yeah, nothing happened. <sighs> you did not tell him you have to cut him off. Fine, fine, I did not end it. But before you say anything, it's because he was really depressed and I couldn't do that to him. Besides, he knew what I went there for. Ava, no one said icing out again is going to be easy. We have to rip off the band aid. Don't think I don't read his texts or listen in when he calls you. He has to stop all that. Justin will freak out. You are so obnoxious. So you think because I'm living in your house temporarily, you are allowed to spy on me? Yes. If I don't, who will? You are impossible. Ryan wasn't playing me, you know. He was really depressed. Yes, he might not have played you yesterday. But what about the next time you try to tell him he's cut off? Tell whom he's cut off. Oh, hi Rose. Good to see you. I didn't know you were back from work. Ava, Rose called. She said she's back. She'll be dropping by tonight. Oh, hi Rose. <laughs> I am not even going to comment Yvette. Hi Ava. Hi Rose. Leave it to Yvette to never give me messages. I did give you this one. So, what have I missed? Did you miss me? Oh, no. Yes, I, did. <laughs> I did not miss you either, Yvette. Seriously though, try and cut him off. Ryan. Oh no. What? Do you think I should still talk to him? Even with all that has happened? And considering how Justin already feels about him? No, of course not. I mean, I don't think you should, but I thought that you would. Rose, come on, stop putting ideas in her head. Come on, I'm not. I'm just picking as to what I thought she'd do. Rose, I'd like to hear from you. What do you think I should do? First of all, let's be clear on one thing. I'm just giving you my point of view. I am by no means saying you should do what I tell you. At the end of the day, whatever choice you make, I'll support you and tell you that you made the right choice. Fine, whatever. Just tell me what you think. Okay. All those years you dated Ryan, you and I, we planned your dream wedding together. I remember how happy he was, how in love you two were. That's the more reason she has to cut him off. Old fire would not forget. No, for real, Yvette. Let's say the situation was reversed. Ryan would have never ended a friendship or connection with Ava at a time she needs him most. Even if he was married with children, it wouldn't have mattered. He would at the very least help her move on. No, don't make her feel guilty. The accident was not her fault. She herself is a victim of this. And it's not Ryan's fault either. He didn't ask to be hit by a car. He didn't ask to lose his memories for eight years. He did not ask for any of it, but it still happened to him. And he has suffered. And now that he has his memories back, the first thing he finds out is that the love of his life is taken. Imagine how he must feel. Even now, I swear to you, he will wish he never remembered. Imagine the blow if Eva asked to that by saying, Hey, sorry, I can't maintain any open communication with you. My husband will not be able to cope. I can't hurt Justin. I'm in love with him. Imagine watching a movie or having dinner and Ryan calls. That will hurt him. I don't want to hurt him. You were also in love with Ryan once. He did nothing wrong. Life took everything from him. <laughs> See what she did. Leave her be. She needs to be alone. 
But you shouldn't have said what she said. I did you a favor, Yvette. How? If she does this and anything happens to Ryan, she'll blame you. Now it's all up to her. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's up to her now. But I'm still mad at you because you made her cry. I was beginning to think that you're not going to show. Ryan, I need to talk to you. You never used to be in such a hurry. Do you have some place to be? Yes, I do. I have to be with my fiance and our daughter. If you're here to tell me that you can't talk to me anymore, that I cannot text you, call you, or DM you, then save it. Because I don't want to hear it. Ryan, stop being impossible. Do you think I'm being impossible? Do you think I want to love you? Ryan! No, Eva. Honestly, do you? It has been eight very long years. And you're a mother now. You have a fiance that loves you. Do you think I want to be a homeworker? The intruder? The bad guy? Then what do you want? I want you out of my head. I want to do right by you and your daughter. I know I must not try to call you or text you, but I don't think I can. You have to let me go, Ryan. Justin, Tina and I, we are a family now. Don't you think I know that? I see your Facebook pictures. I see how your eyes light up when you're with him in your Instagram videos. I can see it makes you happy. This man is living my dream. A part of me is happy for you. And I'm grateful to him for watching over you all those years. But I can't help feeling cheated by life. And resenting him for having the life I planned with you. I did not ask to be hit by a bus. I did not ask to have amnesia. I'm sorry, Ryan, for all of this. I'm sorry for moving on. I pray you find peace, love and happiness. Ryan, no, don't. Just one last time. I've been waiting on your front porch, baby. I've been waiting on your front porch, baby. Go. Ryan. Please go. Go. Ryan. I've been listening to that evening news. I've been heavy with those doomsday blues. Eva. I'm ready to be your wife. I'm healthy now. And I can no longer wait. <laughs> I don't get it why they want to do everything all over again. Eva is even going to get a new wedding dress. I get why. They kind of feel like the first wedding was tainted or cursed or something. I enjoyed doing this the first time. Now it's a real pain. <laughs> I thought you were all for the idea of getting rid of all things Ryan. I was. But since she cut Ryan off, Eva has been a shadow of herself. She's quite withdrawn. I think she would have been the same way 
if she had continued talking to Ryan and then upset Justin because of it. I think she is more upset about her wedding being ruined. The whole situation is hard really. So basically this is not just about Ryan but all she has gone through. Yeah, absolutely. She has loved both of them very much. No one deserves what happened to her. Old ones were opened in her heart. But give her time, she will heal and become herself again. I hope she becomes a true self by the time of the wedding next month. Yvette, you need to go and sign for the flowers for the bridal shower. The florist is at the gate. Oh, did she really need another bridal shower? She already had one. It was epic. What's with her? Just the vet being a vet. Thank you guys so much for all the help. I know it's not easy on you. Being that you already done this with me. What's worse is that we took a year to plan the last time. But this time we only really have two months. I don't mind. Neither do I. Mom! Mom! Apparently Yvette does. So, how are you feeling? Well, I'm having a mixture of feeling actually. I'm happy that I chose Justin's happiness. I'm excited about the wedding. I look forward to all three being a family. But I can't help but feel sad and think about Ryan. If only I just knew if he's okay or how he's doing. Maybe I can breathe a little. Well, he's gone back to the US. Wow. Really? How did you know? He had an interview last night. I watched it on YouTube. On what topic was he interviewed on? His newly recovered memories, what triggered his memories, who he was before he became Jamal Walker, how he plans to blend who he was and his alter ego Jamal. What did he say when he was asked how he plans to blend who he was with Jamal Walker? Let me just show you the video. In life I focus. In life I left behind so long of my life. And there is nothing or no one there for me. I was completely alone when I went back to live my life as a buyer. It was like, it's like no one cared I was back. Everyone had a life and I became the intruder. I am now truly an entirely Jamal Walker, the one you all love and know. Ryan Cole is dead. He died the day he got hit by a bus. Just like that, he killed Ryan. He had to. Life has to go on for him. Gosh. I really hope he finds peace. I really do. I feel bad for not being there for him. I feel guilty for not being there for him. I feel guilty for having any sympathy for him. I feel like it's cheating on justice. No, it's not. You're doing the best you can with the hands you were dealt. All the three of you need is time to heal. It will all get better with time. Baby, what's wrong? Nothing. I'm fine. <laughs> These days it's nothing I'm fine means you're crying over your boyfriend. Ryan is not my boyfriend. How do you expect me to feel to see your heart breaking over another man? My heart is not breaking. 
It is whole. Eva, I love you. And I've built my whole world around you. And I love you too. Then why the hell are you letting your tears fall for him when you have me? I am not crying because I want him in my life or I miss him. I'm sad because of what he had to go through. Eva, you were over him years ago. Years ago. Yes, and I'm still over him. I found out he is alive. And I cannot blame myself for part of his pain. Well, apparently life gave him back. So why not just grab onto him? Because I love you. It's becoming difficult to believe that you love me. I want to leave you, baby. Okay, well, quit crying and let's go out, okay? okay. Now go get that banging board. It's something that will take my breath. Yes, for sure. I'm also super excited though. Tomorrow, I'm going to be Justin's wife. And I really just can't wait. Aww, your joy is so obvious. This is all I wish for. Mommy, Yvette, Rose, I don't know what I would have done without the three of you. I appreciate you all. And words aren't even enough to describe it. I know my attitude the second time around is not a breeze. But in my defense, I was not built to handle stress. But I was happy to be there for you, and I cannot wait to watch you start in your new journey. You have been an amazing sister, Ava, and from the depth of my heart, I wish you happiness in all that you do. I love you so much, Ava. I forget how sweet you can be, because you are always intentionally trying to get me nervous. Let's hurry up and finish your drinks. We have to go. Eva needs a beauty sleep. First a toast. Okay. To love, mm -hmm. family, mm -hmm. yes. and friendship. Yeah. Oh. May time always bring the new thoughts. Yeah. Go home now, man. You have to be up early, you're walking down the aisle. Am I now? Justin, left this talk. You have been at it for hours. I keep telling you that Eva is crazy about you. Your doubts are unfounded. She is the one. She has feelings for that idiot. Did she tell you that? She didn't have to. I can see I yearn for him. This has gotten way over the top. Get a hold of yourself. I'm going to see Eva to discuss this. Now? You didn't discuss this in the two months leading to today? Don't do this to her, man. She has gone through enough. Yeah? What about me? I mean, everyone keeps talking about all what she has gone through. But you all fail to factor in that I too am in pain. We get it that you are hurting too. But Justin, Eva's life got up Eve. Oh, and mine didn't. <laughs> you will tell the story over whiskey when you are old and grey. Just calm down and breathe. When you are on your honeymoon in Barcelona, strolling down La Rambla, or praying together in the Cathedral of the Holy Cross and St. Ulila, or just sunbathing at the St. Sebastian beach with your wife by your side. Man, all you be is happy and grateful. I hear you, man. I've got to go. I'm out behind you, man. Have a good night. What are you doing here, Justin? I need to see Eva. No, go home. We don't need any more bad luck. Yvette, it's not good that I won't be here. Eva! Come here, Justin is here. Justin, what are you doing here? I need to talk to you alone. Whatever. What is it, babe? If I'm not the man you love. You say you love me, but it is clear to me that you love him. And I can't stand that I'm sharing your heart. What? Justin, are you okay? Have you been drinking? I only had a glass, I'm fine. So where is this coming from? We are getting married in the morning. You know, I try to ignore the fact that 
my fiancé after leaving me on the altar. Spend time with another man. And not just any other man. Our ex. Justin, please don't start. Don't make this difficult than it already is. I am making things difficult? When you left me at the altar, was I the one making things difficult? Justin, I did not leave you at the altar. I fainted and I was rushed to the hospital. I was literally a walking and a talking mess. You fainted over your ex. Stop it, Justin. Just stop. We are getting married in the morning. And I've put all thoughts of Ryan behind me. You're yelling at me because of him? I am telling you to stop it. Because I already feel emotionally drained. I love you. Why can't you see that? But of course you're emotionally drained. You spent all your time crying over Ryan. You know they say a woman never forgets her first. I can see how your mom talks about your late father. She loves him even after she married to Yvette's father. My mom and dad we are not divorced or separated. He died. That does not mean she has to deny the love she had for him. And Yvette's father respects that. She loves her husband. And he knows it. And they are happy. So don't bring my dead father into this. So tell me. Did you sleep with him? Justin, where is this coming from? The day Ryan kissed me, I told you and we discussed it. We put that issue to bed months ago. Who is better in bed? Is it me? Or is it him? Justin, how dare you? I know you are feeling a little insecure about this. But you have no right. You know what? I can't do this anymore. Neither can I. So let's take a chill pill and talk about this during our honeymoon. The one Barcelona son and the gentle breeze would have put some sense in you. I mean, I can't do us anymore. I'd rather have none of you than share your love. I'm dreaming. Justin, tell me I'm dreaming. You are not sharing my love. I am 100% dedicated to you. The wedding is off, Eva. No. No, Justin, you can't do that to me. I'm sorry, Eva, but this is too hard for me. Can't you see I love you? Justin! Justin! Oh my God, what is happening? Eva, Justin is leaving me. Hello, Brandon. Are you with Justin? I've been calling him and he's not picking up. He has called off the wedding. What nonsense is this? Please talk some sense into him. Talk some sense into his hard head. Gosh! What is happening to me? Why is Justin doing this to me? When things get hard, you fight to make it work. You don't just leave. Exactly! If he knew he was going to walk away, he should have done that when Ryan was here. What nonsense is this? <laughs> Can't Justin see how much I love him? Why is he doing this to me? It's okay, baby. It's okay. No! This is not okay! Which kind of heartless behavior is this? Justin wants to kill my daughter. He was the one that was pushing for another big wedding on a short notice. When I see this boy, I am going to put my hands on him! Mom? Are Justin's friend not body in the same jet with Daddy? Yes. Won't you call his mom? Maybe she can put some sense into him. I plan to, but looking at the time now, they'll still be in the meeting with the Canadians. They'll be leaving and arriving in the AM. He knows this. Then why did he wait till now to do this? Because he wants to kill us all. But I told you, didn't I? My enemies want to kill me! No! It's been six months, one week, six days, nine hours since Justin walked out on me on the night before our wedding. And eight months, two weeks, three days and 17 hours since I caught Ryan off and he left. Justin now has a girlfriend and only sees Tina on weekends. Ryan has fully embraced his life 
as Jamal Walker. I follow him on Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. His career is on the rise and I am happy for him. Not a day goes by that I don't think of the life I had with the man that once loved me so passionately and the treasured moments we spent together. I love how you laugh. Laugh for more time, Eva. <laughs> You are mine forever. You are my world. Wow. Nice, darling. Will this hot ever end? Will I love anyone ever again as much as I loved Ryan and Justin? I doubt that. I've had two epic loves. Maybe that's all I'm meant to have. Once you was me On the jungle grid to your ocean A long girl stands on the crossroads of gathering glue hey, It's Justin I've missed you Life without you is not worth living I know what I did was wrong Leaving you was a coward move But I love you I'm in a reef side and I can't get out I'm fastly sinking I'm coming. It's following me whole I've gotta find a way For me to cross over Ryan, so is it really you? Forever in the Ryan, what are you doing here? I'm sorry, Someone I forgot save me Jamal Oh no For you I'll always be Ryan Come on in Once you was me the Sit down, Ryan. Don't talk to me a stranger. Nice place you got That brings me to my question. How did you find out where I live? <laughs> a little buddy told me. Well, thank that little buddy because I am so happy to see you. You as beautiful as ever. You flatter me. Sweetheart, you know I'm a sucker for you. <laughs> <laughs> so what brings you to Freetown? You. Oh. You sound surprised. Yeah, honestly I am. Well, I'm not going to beat around the bush. I'm going straight to the point. Ava, I want you back. It's been too long. The more I try to push you out of my mind, the more thoughts I glue to it. Wow. I don't know what to say. Say you'll have dinner with me. I know there's no Justin in your life. I was hoping you'd choose me over him this time. <laughs> so you kept tabs on me? Of course I did. Okay, I'll have dinner with you. <laughs> That's the best news I've had in a long time. Wow, <laughs> tell me about you. I'm so juicy that we're itchy to hear it. Listen to this. But I love you, and I'll do anything to have you back. Kill me now. I knew it. I knew he would come crawling back. I knew it. That's not all. Maybe I did something bad in my past life that the universe is making me pay for now, to even the score. Tell us already. I was listening to Justin's audio message and then there was a knock at the door. I went to open the door and standing at my door, like a dream, was Ryan. Ah! Kill me now! I said shut up and shoot me! What did he say he wants? Did you guys kiss? One question at a time, Yvette. He said he wanted me and he made that perfectly clear. 
And no, we did not kiss. So you're back to where you are. What are you going to do? Well, before you guys came, Justin gave me a call and I've agreed to see him tomorrow. And Ryan and I will be having dinner on Friday. Oh, Sly. Do you still love them the same? Don't you hate Justin now? I do. I still have love for them both. They were a huge part of my life. And no, I do not hate Justin. What he did hurts me. But I can understand the frustration he felt. And you know how possessive and spoilt he is. Well, I hate him enough for the both of us. This is all so real. Tell me about it. I so don't want to be you. But if you ask me, I will put my cute little niece Justina first and say her stupid father Justin. I mean, the man is a dickhead, but he loves you. And I say Ryan. He deserves a shot at happiness. And you know how deeply in love with you he is. This is getting ridiculous. I already have a headache. Do I want to be in Justin's world where I will be a normal and a happy wife and a mom? Or do I want to be in Ryan's, which involves talk shows and limelight and all that bohaha? Why me? Thanks for agreeing to see me. Life has not been the same without you. We see each other on weekends when you come pick up your daughter. Besides, you chose to leave. I know. And I regretted it ever since. When? Before or after you found yourself a girlfriend? Blossom was just a distraction. <laughs> Her real name was Blossom? Yeah, it was. Now you can say I dated a girl called Blossom. At least, that's something. I can see you still like to have your laughs. <laughs> you have your girlfriend to thank. But I miss you. I miss seeing you happy. I did love you, you know. I had no doubts. I know. I was stupid and selfish. I couldn't just empathize. I was so focused on how I felt and how it affected me and that ruined us. I am so sorry. So, now that you've spent time with both of them, how do you feel? Happy mostly. If this madness does not earn me anything, it will certainly earn me closure. How is the chemistry between you and each of them? The chemistry is their full force. I think that's part of the problem. So what do you intend to do? Because this can drag on forever and your feelings will not change. Neither will the situation. I've decided to go out with each of them separately one last time, one week each. After which I will get to decide if I let them both go or choose a person that I will spend my life with. This time, I won't be riddled with guilt for choosing whomsoever I choose. Yeah, will they go along with it? We'll see. Both boys have proven that they can live without me. So whomsoever I do not choose will survive. You intend to find that out in two weeks? One week for each tutor who is asking for my hand. <laughs> Evie is the head that wears the crown. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad in Freetown we do not have the melee. They would have fought to win me. Man, would I have loved to see that. So, I have a week to cut you. I mean like seven days. Why does Justin continue to be my worst nightmare? <laughs> wow. Most women can find love, but you have two suitors. It's like the olden days. All that is missing is silk shirts and cravats and the melee. How do you know I was going to say melee? I just knew. Probably because I was thinking along those lines. Oh, okay. Uh, um, so, quick question. On a date next week, am I allowed to kiss you? I guess we just have to find out when we go out on those dates. <laughs> Fair enough then. <laughs> oh my god, this is nice.
a week? Yes, that's right. Does today count? No, it doesn't. What about kissing? <laughs> Will I be allowed to kiss you? We'll see. This is what I deserve, I guess. What I did to was to keep people. It's a testament to how much you love me, what I meant to you for me to still be in the running. Man? Yeah, I did. What she's asking me to this crazy, unheard of even. I don't think she's been unreasonable, considering that the last time she chose you. You did try a night before your wedding, and soon after you started dating that, that, well, I don't want to call a woman a tramp. So you left her for a woman, and now you're bitching about her setting you up against another guy? And yes, yes, I'm eavesdropping. I'm Angela, by the way. I did not leave her for another woman. I met that woman after I left her. I told you before and I'm telling you again. That was bad form, man. Bad form. I don't seem to understand, so let me get this straight. On your wedding day, she got a call from her ex that she did not air from for eight years and she collapsed, which makes sense because what are the odds? And she decided that she won't go with the world until she spoke to her ex, which also makes sense because had it been me, I would have needed closure too. After speaking to this man, she found out that he was involved in an accident and had memory loss. Considering that they never ended things, and it was fate that took him from her. That ought to spark some old feelings, right? I mean, it is only natural. But amidst all that confusion, this woman was honest to you about her feelings. And not only that, chose you. When any other woman would have chosen her first love, especially after what he suffered. Not to mention he's rich, but she paid her back by leaving her and starting a new relationship. You've got it all right. Then dude, you're lucky she didn't consider you a second time. By the way, why did you even leave? I couldn't be at the thought that the love of my life was in love with someone else. Exactly. I would have left too. But she chose you. Tell him, beautiful. You did tell her when she didn't know what happened to her ex. I was probably having dreams and nightmares about him lying in your bed. But you left her when the universe finally presented her with the opportunity to lay the issue of his way back to us. Why are you looking as if you just saw a ghost? She did have nightmares, didn't she? All the time, but she always told me she dreamed she was being chased by cats. So she lied to you? Of course she lied. What should she have said? Hey darling. I'm calling you, but leave me about my missing ex boyfriend. Look at what happened to her when she was faced with one of the most complicated feelings known to man. Love is not all black and white. Sometimes it has more colors than the rainbow. Kind of complicated. Well, as men, we have our egos to think about. He chose his ego instead of love. And now he's paying the price. If not for his full addy, he will be happily married by now. You know what? I even judge Eva for still considering you. You're supposed to be my friend, man. Have my back. I will have your back when your ass is right. If I'm not honest with you, what the hell kind of friend will I be? Ooh, you know, like you. Yeah. I'm single. So am I. So we can't buy things for each other? I would love to. Okay, back to my thing now, please. I mean, she has to choose that lame excuse of a man, Justin. No matter the past, the half Tina. That is what I keep telling Rose. Miss Pascaline, you of all people should know that it is possible to raise kids with stepdads. I know, I know it was not the same thing. She lost her dad, but look how much Yvette's dad loved Eva. If not for the different surnames, no one would have known he was not Eva's father. True. So, what if Ryan can love Justina as if she is his own? I mean, the Ryan I know would. But what if it's not the Ryan we all knew? What if he has changed completely? I mean, up to a year ago, the man was living a completely different life with no knowledge of who he was. And he himself said this on a video that he's no longer Ryan Cole, but Jamal Walker. Had I not known him when he was Ryan, I would still like the man Jamal Walker is now. Tina should be Ava's first concern. Ava should be Ava's first concern. 
You know, everyone has been worried about Tina and how Justin felt when his wedding was cancelled. And I myself have been at fault by focusing on post amnesia Ryan and what he must be going through. Who is really watching her for Eva? I am glad she finally decided to be selfish for once and look out for herself. Our own interest. I will support Eva, no matter whom she chooses. And what if she chooses neither of them? Because Eva, I know, is capable of doing that. Indeed she is. Whatever she does, I am with her 100%. today because there is someone I'd like you to meet. Oh my, she is beautiful. She has your beautiful eyes. <laughs> Hello princess. Do you like magic tricks? Yeah. Yeah, it's a beautiful flower for a beautiful princess. What should I say? Good job. <laughs> She been watch me like a brother And I mean they watch her like a sister So I invited Ryan to meet with Tina yesterday Oh really? How did it go? Tina loved him They ended up spending the whole afternoon together I could barely get a word in That's good you know At least now you won't base your decision on Tina uh, Yeah Sure but it doesn't make it easier <laughs> I know But I hope shopping does Come on, let's go. Okay. The place is exactly like you said. Yeah. I cooked you dinner. Mm. Wow. Everything looks nice. Have a seat, love. Thank you. Yeah. So we have. Pickles and all these appetizers. Mm. And we have roasted chicken and vegetable fried rice for main course. And then chocolate cake for dessert. Let's eat! Mm. Like it? Oh, 
hole up in your arms It's time to give up all the faces in the world And turn your mind to what your girl This thing called love, love, love is supernatural This thing called love, love, love is unconditional This thing called love, love, love is so magical If you know you cannot make it and you really don't trust yourself The rest of show what you give to her is what she gives to you No, no, you don't know what it means to be love Get yourself involved, you will learn Love with your end, such a feeling is a chemistry to the soul Love with your end, such a feeling is a chemistry to the soul This thing called love, love is supernatural yeah. This thing called love, love, love is unconditional this thing called love, love, love is so magical There's a power that I can't see There's a force that can't be hidden inside of me Try and tame it and you will fail You'd be better off if you would just exhale you can try to shut out a woman like me, a woman like me But in time, no doubt, you'll wake up and see I go to your head Like a good, good book that you read And can't forget I go to your head Got you tripping over words that you said You turn it red It's noon, yeah? 
Seriously? Look at the time. It says it's noon. And you left your gen on all night. Bollocks. I have to go and pick up Tina from mom's. Mom says to tell you to take your time. She says she can look after her till tomorrow. So what are you guys doing here? Duh. We want major spillage. Go on. Get on with it. You guys are terrible. Whatever. I have to go take a shower and I'll talk to you about it over lunch. Oh, come on. Fine. So tell us, how was your day this week? It was everything I thought it would be and then some. I had a laugh in the whole time. Our week was great too, if you catch my dreams. So you and Brandon are... Oh, let's make a big deal out of it. Let's get back to your thing. No, no. I would like to know. We went out and discovered we like each other, so we are going to keep at it and see how things go. <laughs> so think that you guys actually bonded over my misery. <laughs> <laughs> how for do? I had a great time, honestly. We went swimming, dancing. He made me homemade dinners. It was a fun week overall. Aww. I'm glad you had fun. I did. It was much fun needed. So, did you guys, you know? No, we did not. But you kissed, right? Yes, a couple of times. Stop asking me these questions. So, how do you feel about going out with Ryan now? Nervous, really. We have both grown from what we were nine years ago. Well, I hope you have fun on his dates too. Are beautiful. Do you remember all the times we used to come dancing at the same beach? Right here on the same spot? Of course I do. You were happy. Yes, I was. I could make you happy again. All the dreams we whisper in each other's ears could happen if you would just let me love you. Say the word and I'll make you my wife. And we're honeymoon in Greece, like you always wanted. You are the queen of my heart, soul and body. I belong to you, Eva. I'm yours. Take me. Don't let me go again. You were my Eva once. You could be again. Just say the words.
I wrote a poem for you. Can I hear it? It's not perfect. I'm still working on it. I don't mind. I still want to hear it. Okay. <clears throat> like a blooming flower in the fall and a rainbow after rainfall. Like a lone star in the darkest night, and like the rising sun after a stormy night, your perfect face is my ray of hope. In the darkest night where no wind blows, and my lungs ache as I gasp for breath, as the tears flow from within my depths, and the stench of regret fills my nose. I close my eyes and I see you. I cling to your image, my beautiful goddess. Come to rescue me from my woes and save me from this endless darkness. Where even the shadows of my foes, Eva, my hope, my love and my light, do shine ever so bright. Wow, it is so beautiful. As it goes, are you crying? No. <laughs> and all the same, you need a hug. Come here. As my heart shakes like the waves in a baseline The good girl grows too soon Straight by the light of the moon and it gets better Paths also change like the weather Be like a song you can't remember I can be here forever Holding you in my arms And watching the waves There is no better place to be Be mine forever, you know? I could be alone, but you're never far from sight As far as we go Through the darkest night I hope it brings you peace of mind I know we'll be alright No matter where you go You're always on my mind I could be alone, but you're never far from sight As far as we go the darkest night, I hope it brings you peace of mind. I know we'll be alright now. Been trying to delay with the day's tale. Find myself locked up. Can't escape this, there's no way. Now hold it by the mistake. If I choose you, will my love for Justin bother you? If you are to choose me, Eva, all I will think about is my good fortune. I will not have time to mind anything else. But if you do have the time to mind, to think about it, would you still mind? So I guess my being there means you made your decision. Not really. I have a question I need an answer to before I make a decision. Okay, my love, you can ask me anything. Once you was me.
if I were to choose you and tell you I love you, but I will always love Ryan, how will you feel? Who did you choose? Did you choose any of them? Or are you kicking them to the cup? You will find out tomorrow. For now, please just take good care of me. My light turned to darkness. I can't find my way. I've hit rock bottom and I can't see the If I were to choose you and tell you I love you, but I will always love Ryan. How will you feel? I won't be mad like the last time I leave. <laughs> I'm not a maniac. But will it bother you? Once you was me on the jungle greets the ocean a long ghost dance on the crossroads of gathering gloom emotions of a loading all the strength waning falling crawling grasping calling drowning in this free time yeah in this free time What did I say? What did I do to deserve this feeling? What did I pray? This ain't okay, someone bring me healing. What did I say? What did I do to deserve this feeling? What did I pray? This ain't okay, someone bring me healing. So you chose Justin again. The moment you told me to meet you here and not a bitch, I knew. Then I guess it's goodbye. Before you leave, you have to listen to what Justin told me that led to my decision. The thought of you in love with another will still bother me. I want all of you, Eva. I can't share your love with another. If I choose you, and I tell you I still love him. Given your answer to my question, what will you do? We will still be a family. You, me, and Tina. But I'll dedicate my whole life trying to rid you of the love you have for him. And if you can't, what will become of us? I know I can. Justin. I'm sorry, but I... No. Eva, please don't do this to me. Justin, this is already difficult please, for me. I'm ready to let go of you. Please don't do this to I'm me. sorry for hurting you, babe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for hurting you like this. No, I'm please, sorry. Don't do this to me. <laughs> Wait. I don't understand. I love you, Ryan. I've dreamt of this day. Every night since I got my memories back. Now that is happening, I can't believe it. A part of my heart has been yearning for you ever since I saw you for the first time after eight years. I respect your decision back then. I did not hold it against you. But what changed this time? What? I opened my heart to you. And ours was a love filled with raw passion, chemistry, and all that unexplainable energy. If I had chosen Justin, I would have really been happy. He knows me. He knows what I like. But you? I get to live, feel, explore, discover new depths. To love as love was meant to be. Oh, yes. Yeah. Then marry me. We've wasted so much time apart. 
Let's not waste any more. Marry me. Let's make Tina a baby brother. Okay, I'll marry you, Ryan. Really? Yeah. Oh, come okay. here. Yeah. All is well that ends well, at least for Ava and Ryan. The couple couldn't be happier. They got married just a week after Ryan proposed. Talk about a shotgun wedding, right? Justin. Ah, Justin, Justin. Some may say he didn't deserve the hand fate dealt him. But time, time they say heal all wounds. For now, he has settled for loving Dada to his princess. As for Yvette and Rose, they became what we Sierra Leoneans would call Sante Mate. They are now true sisters. In law, of course. While I'm still spilling the tea, I must tell you about Madame Pascaline. She took up acting after being called a drama queen so many times. Very literal, right? Does Ava still have feelings for Justin? I think she does. I think she does. Anyways, who cares what I think, right? As they say, all is well that ends well. I'm in a riptide and I can't get out. I'm fastly sinking. It's swallowing me whole. I've got to find a way for me to cross over. Stay on one side, oh beloved, forever in this clashing way. Someone save me from overspend. One, two, was me on the jungle, greets the ocean. A lone girl stands on the crossroads of gathering gloom. Emotions of a loading. All the strength waning, falling, crawling, grasping, calling, drowning in this reef tide. Yeah, in this reef tide. My light turned to darkness, I can't find my way. I've hit rock bottom and I can't see the light I've gotta get out of this, I can't stay under longer Tell me I can, make me a believer Save me from this way Baby, don't let this blow me away Once you was me on the jungle greets the ocean A lone girl stands On the crossroads of gathering gloom Emotions of a loading All the strength waning Falling, crawling, grasping, calling